Hello there. Today I want to talk about what to do if your phone suddenly doesn't make or receive phone calls. The one fucking thing your phone is supposed to be able to do better than anything, without fail, and it doesn't work. As far as I see it, it can be split up into three different categories, this issue. Either it's a SIM card issue, a software issue, or a hardware issue. So let's start with the simplest one. If it's the SIM card, you can pull it out, put it into a different phone, and test it out there. Or if you don't have one, I suggest you go to your carrier, their office, um, or their store, I should say, like Verizon, T-Mobile, whoever, and ask them to test out your SIM card. They should be able to plug it into one of their phones. If it works, then your problem lies elsewhere. But if it doesn't, maybe it's time for a new SIM card. If that doesn't work, let's move on to software issues. So let's check first if maybe you accidentally turn call forwarding on for all incoming phone calls. So go to your settings, scroll all the way down to call or calls, which is under device. Go to call forwarding, click voice. And after some time, it'll read the settings. And you should see that always forward is disabled. The rest of the settings are normal. Forward when busy, unanswered, unreachable. It forwards that number, that 805 number. You see it might be different for you, but this is the voicemail number for T-Mobile. All right? So if that's not the case, next you can check, and this is actually kind of both maybe a software issue, mostly a hardware issue, I guess. Um, and this was my particular problem. So if you go to wireless and networks, go to mobile networks and press preferred network type. So here you will see a bunch of options. Um, it might be different depending on what type of phone you have or what kind of carrier you have, but try going to like GSM only or WCDMA only from LTE. And test your phone then and see if you can make and receive phone calls. For me, that did the trick, which meant that either the switch, which is uh, basically a chipset inside your phone, which differentiates between 4G signals, 3G signals, etc. I think something on its end has failed or perhaps it was an amplifier or something. Basically a hardware issue because I can make and receive phone calls perfectly on GSM or Edge or 2G, but I cannot really do that on LTE. It works really weird. Like, it'll forward directly to my voicemail when someone tries to call me. And if I, I personally try to make a phone call, it'll, like, linger. I won't hear anything for, like, 10 seconds, and then it might uh, give me a dial tone and go through. But many times it doesn't. So it's kind of an odd issue, and I call that a hardware problem. All right, from here... Well, if you tried all those things and still doesn't work, well, you might you might try just turning the phone off and powering it back on after 10 seconds. I know it sounds stupid and cliche, but it really does work sometimes. You can also check to make sure that airplane mode is off. Um, another thing you can try is kind of the nuclear option. You can try doing a factory reset on your phone. So you can go to settings, obviously back up everything you hold dear. Um, go to backup and reset under accounts and services. Scroll all the way down, press factory data reset. And actually, since we're at it, you might want to try network settings uh, reset. And... Maybe that'll work, maybe it won't. I don't know what your particular issue is. There's also one more thing you can do, and this has happened to me quite a few times when I got a brand new phone or did a complete reset, factory reset, and my phone calls don't work, 4G doesn't work, Wi-Fi works, but 4G and that sort of stuff doesn't. Uh, you need to actually download your network settings, as weird as that sounds, I never heard of that before, but it happens. So go to wireless and networks, press more, and press internet settings. 
download settings for internet and MMS. Uh, your device will yada yada yada, press accept, and it'll download all the relevant settings for your phone. Just make sure that you are on Wi-Fi while you do that. And aside from that, well, it might be an even fancier hardware issue where you might have to take your phone apart, but, you know, phones are kind of difficult to take apart, and that's kind of, I would say, the last option. And what you can do from there is kind of limited unless you know how to replace the hardware. It could be a bad antenna, so you can probably buy a replacement for that, or you can even replace the entire freaking motherboard. But at that point, you have to start asking, is it worth it? The motherboard's expensive. It'll take a lot of time and effort. I mean, if it's a really expensive phone, then yep, yeah, it's probably worth it. If it's not so expensive, maybe it's time for a new phone. But anyways, for me, what wound up working is changing the settings from 4G to 2G. It's a bit annoying to have to constantly go back and forth, but most of the time on, on Wi-Fi anyway, so I keep it on 2G so I can make and receive phone calls. And if I really am out and about and I need to use uh, internet, I just turn 4G back on. And in fact, you can actually put the LTE tile on your home screen uh, or your home settings so you have quick access to it. I hope this all helps. Thanks for watching.